Good morning is a beautiful day in a South Carolina. Dudes, 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 dudes. Fuck me, bro. It's a bad day to be a whistleblower for Boeing. Holy F me in the bum hole and call me Freddy because this shit is scary, boys. Now, me personally, I've always hated flying. I think flying's for chumps. If we were men to fly, we'd have wings. However, they invented something, a plane, or I think a woman invented a plane or something like that. Or she at least did in Red Dead Redemption. I can't remember. But apparently they're not very fucking safe. Whistleblowers are exposing Boeing as they are basically saying that they are dangerous. Hmm. So, one died. And if you remember, in March, John Barnett, who was literally a quality assurance guy for Boeing for years, 30 years if I'm top of my head, he dropped dead when he was about to expose them for being stinky, for being dodgy, you know what I mean, so much, so much going on here, look at that, Hitman 2 Boeing edition, that's because Boeing has got an elite mercenary squad, I don't understand why the government doesn't do something or the governments get involved, because this shit is terrifying bro, if you get on a plane these days, check whether it's a Boeing 737 or whatever, and if it is, don't fucking get on it, that would be my advice, stay clear, in fact, I'd rather swim with the shark because I reckon you have a more chance of making it swimming with sharks than you do getting on a Boeing. In fact, I reckon you have more chance of making it crossing a train tracks during rush hour. Yeah, that don't make sense, but you get my point. I reckon you've got more chance surviving a bear attack than surviving a bloody Boeing flight. You know what I mean? I'd rather get jump in a pit full of snakes with Indiana Jones than I would than getting a Boeing. You know, I could keep I could keep going all day. In fact, I will. I would rather jump in molten lava at the top of Mount Doom just to get the ring out, just so I can give it to Gollum. That is the type of shit we're here right now. You know what I mean? Boeing is done. We're done. Boeing is the scariest business out there. They are evil, scary, dangerous. Boeing's hit squad, Hillary Clinton. The worst of them all. You can't trust Hillary. Big Hill Dog. Look at all this. Dead. Josh Dean. Dead, mate. Josh Dean. Dead, mate. Josh Dean. Dead, mate. Why in the fuck is no one pointing this out in Parliament? Excuse me, Joe Biden. Yes, me at the front. Yes, I have a question. Have you noticed that every time someone tries to come out against Boeing, they fucking die? Uh... That's the response he would make, because he's an illiterate bumtard. But look at this, this is so wise. Look at all the people trying to expose what Boeing is, and they just kill him. Just kill him. <laughs> I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Shit, I just want to talk to him. I'm not going to kill him. He's dead. Gone. Kaput. It's pathetic, and I, I just can't believe it. Two dead. He was fortified, good health, and noted for having a healthy lifestyle. Oh, he died of natural causes. Boeing 37722, whatever you're called. I will give you a natural reason to die. It's called my fucking chode. Thrust it down your throat. Here, look, another one dead. It's just terrible. I can't understand it. Boeing supplier Spirit Aerosystems have died. Another day, another dead man who worked for Boeing trying to expose them. Died to, after a struggle with a sudden fast-spreading infection. <laughs> This is horror film level stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This is terrifying. The the media, the people who've done this as well, are, are they have no information and basically have to force to lie and say, oh, well, he had an infection. How do you know this piece of information? Huh? Fucking let me do a blood test. You know what I mean? You can't trust the people who do the toxicologies and all that either because they're paid off <laughs> or they're just, you know, not done properly or whatever. You, you know, it could be whatever you think. Whatever you do think, though, I'll tell you this for certain. Everyone's in on it. The US government, the UK government. Government, every country is in on it. They are the stinkiest mother hoes in the world, and they're just here to ruin our day. Right, it's absolutely crazy how these guys, the sudden loss is stunning news here and for his loved ones. Like, I, I would just come out and say, Boeing killed him. Boeing killed him. They poisoned him. They did something, and they killed him. And we are going to fight this. He in intubated and developed pneumonia and then a serious bacterial infection. <laughs> You can't see, but I'm, I'm literally giving the middle finger to my computer right now. Like, I'm giving it the wanker sign, two fingers up, you know what I mean? If I could, I'd headbutt it, but I actually have no money, so I can't afford to do that. It's just sad, it's terrible, it's absolutely horrible to even think, and I hate that this poor guy's been murdered, but also that they, they get away with this constantly. This is like a kid when he, you know, goes round and calls the girls ugly, you know what I mean? You tell him off, but he'll get away with it, they'll just keep doing it. He'll just keep running round the playground, pointing at her, saying, you're fat, you smell, your hair looks like my fucking pew... He probably won't say that. <laughs> Your hair looks like spaghetti. You know, he'd say something like that because he's a child and probably doesn't have... Anyway, moving on, because, you know, he is a child. Whistleblower, another one dead. That's at least two. There's probably been hundreds. You just don't hear about it. And, he, you know, he got an, a mysterious fast-spreading infection. Oh, God, I wonder how that arrived. Mysterious, eh? How crazy is this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, guys, look, I'm going to leave it there. Look after yourselves. My advice would be never got on a plane again. And if you do, make sure you tell...
tell your family you, 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 you found them acceptable, you could tolerate them, because you probably won't be fucking landing, let's get that straight, next plane I'm getting on, I'm gonna be fucking mortally pissed, like, you know what I mean, as in I can't even see straight, like, words are blurred, I'm, like, I'm gonna have to be, like, in, in a wheelchair, I'll be in the disabled section next time I get on a plane, because that shit is not trustworthy, and if, you know, it's funny, because it's not trustworthy, but why are they killing them, what are they trying to hide, you know what I mean, they're not gonna come out and say, oh yeah, sometimes we, you know, the, the wheels might have been a bit loose, what are they gonna tell us, they're gonna tell us something absolutely sinister, something scary, and Boeing just can't have that, now it's funny, uh, because, you know, they have literally like a death squad, don't they, a team of Avenger level killers, who just go around murdering people they don't like, I can't wait for 30 years, and I hope one of these guys comes out and cut, you know, against the business and said, yeah, we did this, I killed him, this, that, and the other, I did it, I was paid a lot of money, whatever, anyway, fuck Boeing, they can come after me, but they won't win, I am not suicidal, I am not happy, but I will not kill myself, and I am going to, uh, you know, send my best regards to the boy, Joshua Dean, and the fellow before him, trying to fight the cause, and unfortunately, I've been stopped, the government's need to come out and say something, people need to come out and say something, and stop this bullshit, this absolute bullshit, that is Boeing, they need to be restrained, and refrained, and put in place, because they are, you know, killing people, who are trying to expose them, for being dodgy, ugh, anyway, thank you guys, that's it, you know, we've had some really, really positive few days, uh, let's keep it up, you know, like, comments, all fucking lovely, I love reading them, it literally gives me the biggest wet dream, reading all your guys' comments, even the ones that call me a fucking stupid, ugly donkey, it's still, it's still nice to hear from you, cheers guys.